Hey guys, you're going to love this story. Imagine for a moment, you found a property in Southern California. I'm going to call this video diamonds in your backyard. Get it diamonds. I could have said gold, but you get, you get the point, right? And here we are. Oh, look, just while I'm talking to you, no caller ID. Let's see what they have to say here. Hello, Diamond Consulting Group. Hello, Diamond Consulting Group. This is Quad. How may I help you? That's the, let me check. Yes, you are. Hi, sir. How are you doing today? I am wonderful. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Michael Stevens. Hi, Michael. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, hi. Um, I was just um, going for your uh, channel about advertising a game, Mike Quick. Say that again, please. I, just want to know I didn't understand you. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, can you hear me clearly? Yeah. What did you say before? Uh, yeah, I was watching your ad about, and I was wondering what is it about, because... I don't know. I didn't catch the... Uh, what ad? You're going to have to help me a little. Like like the money ad? I don't know. You I, Money ad. What do you mean? Like on your channel. Like, like, like on my, like like on my what? Cow? Like on your channel. Channel. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Money ad on my channel. I don't know what money... I. On, on my channel, money ad on my channel. I, I, I give away free books and things on my channel. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, why don't you just say it? Because I get confused and I didn't know it was a money ad, but it was a book ad. Sorry about that, because I get confused and I was trying to call you. See what oh, okay. About. Which book do you have? I've written a lot of books. I think, well, how many? Let me ask my nine books, ten books? Uh, yeah, I've written a lot, of a lot of books, Michael. Which one do you need? Neither do I. We got a problem. Uh, what do you think? So, what is the thing you want to change in your life? What's the one thing you want to improve on? Um, something about um, thinking about my future, about becoming a businessman. Just become a. What do you do right now? Um, I'm a caretaker at a local church. Sounds good. Oh, that's wonderful. Doing God's work, helping people, probably getting good money. What's wrong with that? Jesus is our savior, that we um, converted to Christianity, which uh, we do in uh, North Dakota, in our local church. Fargo is lovely in, in February, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Fargo in, in February. <laughs> um, tell me yeah. what, I, yeah, what can I... Um, uh, so, what do you need help with exactly? If we had to fix one thing, what would it be? More money? Um, we need, uh, yeah, we need like donations. Like you're not going like, to get it. Oh, okay. Then just keep asking the flock. Excuse me. Just keep asking your flock if you need more money. Okay. Well. Congregants. It's, it's what? Okay, I can't help you with donations, really. That's, you know, um, I do. I donate. Uh, I helped build a theater in Colorado, and I donate to the Lions Club and uh, Father Joe's in San Diego. And uh, I think do we do Make a Wish Foundation? I'm looking at my wife right now. What else? And everything like that. But um, what, you don't want a donation from me, do you? Um, well, I'm looking for looking forward to but i'm really busy uh, busy writing business so i'm just taking a call 15 minute call just to confirm you uh, what do you when you say confirm me i'm, I'm not understanding the point of our conversation no, no, like, well no no like we're, guys, we're, 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 we're like a busy we're like a busy church here like getting anyone to donate to our church like for the charity okay what would you like from me though uh, michael before we run out of time here um i would like to make it like a donation like $1,000? I don't need a donation. I don't need a donation. I'm already wealthy. Thank you, though. Give it to someone who deserves it. Okay, well, it shouldn't matter because I'm, we're making a donation to the church. I mean, is that what you're good for? I'm, once again, I don't understand what you're, what you're talking about. You're going to have to help me here. Well, 
it sounded like you wanted to give me a donation, but I'm already a millionaire. So you give it to somebody, well, give it to somebody in Fargo who needs it, okay? We were talking at the same time here. It's annoying as hell, isn't it? When we wait, both wait, talk wait, wait. at the I'm same time, you take a breath here. while, you have to take a breath and let me finish my question, uh, answer to you first, okay? No, no, no. okay See how wait, annoying wait, it is? Wait, yeah, wait, exactly. Wait, yeah, no, you're nothing. You're just a crazy guy calling me up on the phone and I'm having fun with you. And he hung up. And this is what happens while I was doing this video. This, these are the wacky guys who call you. You know what I always say? Practice. Okay, and this went way too long, but I knew I was recording. And I love when they call me while I'm doing a video with you guys. And um, the thing about it is, you get, you get people who call you. You know you're not going to do business. I knew this guy was a whack job, okay? Uh, so the thing, it's a New York term of expression. It's not one of endearment, by the way. <laughs> and um, it's, uh, the thing about it is, when you get somebody like this practice, I'm always saying, how do you get good at sales, persuasion, influence? How do you talk to people and have honest? See, when you're dealing with people honestly and upfront, you're asking the questions and you, you must have heard, the takeaway from this video is, I think I said at least, I'm looking at my wife here, at least five times, I don't know, or oh, can you help me? Like that, yeah. And everything like that. Just, I play feign ignorance. In other he words- He wasn't making it clear. He anyway. Well, he, he was, he was wacky, he was crazy or something like that. So you either get a sale, you get a quick no, and if you know you're dealing with a crazy person, get a lesson or have some fun. If you're talking to a manipulative salesperson, okay, um, just have some fun with it. And the great thing about it is I had a laugh, I had fun, I, I honed my skills, and now I've got a great recording to share with you wonderful people because nobody, even on these super long videos, deserve success more than you good people. Have a great day. Go to my webpage, claudediamond.com. Get a free book. Schedule a free consultation. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.